In Computer Science 302, you're going to do part of your homework in LaTeX. LaTeX is a great tool to learn if you ever want to typeset mathematics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Overleaf. Overleaf lets you edit LaTeX and download beautiful typeset PDFs all in your browser. To get started, open up your browser and go to overleaf.com. First, you'll need to register. As a Princeton student, you'll get Overleaf Professional for free. Here, I've just made an account using a Gmail address. After you log in, you'll see a list of whatever projects you have going. In this case, it's empty because I just created the account. Of course, you can use Overleaf for all kinds of things, but in 302, we're gonna make it as easy as possible and get you started with a template. Go to the course website and click Assignments. That will take you down to the list of assignments where you can see a link to the template for Homework 1. Click the link and it'll take you to a read-only version of the homework. You'll need to make a copy in order to complete the assignment. To do that, click the Menu button in the top left and then select Copy Project. You can give it a new name if you want, but here I'm just going to leave the default. After I do that, I get a version of the homework that I can edit. The sidebar on the left shows you what files are part of the project. The big panel in the middle is a text editor where you write the LaTeX code. On the right is a compiled rendering of the PDF you just created. The first couple of problems of this homework are about figuring out how to use this tool. After you make a change to the LaTeX code, you can click the green recompile button in the top left corner of the PDF. After it takes a second to compile, it'll display the fresh new PDF that reflects your changes. Just like other kinds of code, when you compile LaTeX, you might get an error. If you do, it'll show up as a red flag right next to that recompile button. Here, there's an orange flag, which is just a warning that I'm going to ignore. After you're done with the homework, just click the download PDF button in order to get a local copy. You'll want to upload that to Gradescope, but that's the subject of another video.